Hi guys, it's Michelle. This is maybe one of the craziest videos I've done. A couple of people had said to me they've watched my live wig reviews and would I do a live makeup video, which is probably bonkers because, well, I talk too much and then it takes me forever to do my makeup. So this is just a quick morning routine. However, let me actually move my light. I should have done this already. Wait a minute. Okay. And as you can see, I'm in my pyjamas. Okay. So, right, to start off, I've decided today, I'm semi-organised, I'm going to use my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I've only used this once or twice, actually. I was really lucky and won a Jamie Genevieve giveaway. Thanks, Jamie. Um, so, yeah, basically, let's just get started. I've already done my foundation. I used the Vichy Derma Blend in shade 05 because I am white as a ghost. Um, shade Porcelain. This is amazing. Then I used a tiny, tiny bit of the Makeup Revolution conceal and define i'm forgetting this isn't my camera can't do that conceal and define just to do some contour a wee bit around my face down the side of my nose then it hit me let's just do this live okay so all i have done since that is then i actually got this is amazing the elf um what's it called it's just the sheer translucent powder i got this in america and it has no talc it's just mica so i like that um yeah so that's all i've done i've not done anything else so i'm going to do my eyes quickly do the powders on the face and that's good to go i actually just used my new it cosmetics heavenly Lux wand ball powder brush just to dab loads of that elf powder on my face this is the softest brush on the planet i am quite liking it okay so let's crack on with these eyeballs so i'm going to grab a brush to get a bit of color for in my crease and i think i'm going to use the heavenly Lux no tug dual eyeshadow brush number five we've got the all over on one end and the smudger brush on the other let's try this i've never used it before so i think first of all what i'm going to do um i had put the oh tarte um shape tape concealer under here and on here as a base for my eyeshadows so i'm going to use this shade here georgia at the bottom on my new brush let's see how this one pans out okay and i'm literally i don't want to be doing anything too drastic today fairly quick fairly natural look i have a load of videos that i need to edit and will be re-recording a couple of them for wig reviews so because i'm going to be re-recording and i'm going to be reviewing wigs in all different colors i don't want to have my makeup too focused on suiting one particular shade of hair exciting um i had actually recorded a whole load of videos of new gisela mere wigs that are out for anybody who has alopecia and um yeah but i was looking at my videos as i was going to edit them last night because i've had them sitting there for a while and i wasn't really thinking that i had done a great job so i'm thinking i'm going to fly through them today try and re-record and try to edit today um and we'll see how that pans out this is really nice this is quite a beautiful it's not like orangey peachy it's a peachy pinky type of shade i really like this wee shade georgia i'm going to no i'm going to grab another brush is what i'm going to do let's see i'm going to get another brush that's a wee bit firmer and i'm going to run along the same thing underneath my eye just at the moment rather than waiting to do that um and do you know what i'll just use this i'll use the other end of this brush here the smudge although it's a smudge brush it's fairly rigid so it's going to work i'm just going to make it work because let's be honest when i'm doing my makeup um if i'm trying to be fairly quick i'm always quicker when i don't talk and yet i'm talking um if i'm trying to be fairly quick doing my makeup in the mornings or whatever um i will tend to use minimal amount of brushes instead of using a whole load of them so these are clean, these are brand new. I'm quite liking so far. So far so good eh? at cosmetics. Good job, Jamie and team. I quite love Jamie Karen Lima and follow her on Instagram and she's just so cute and so awesome and just like such an inspiration of a woman, I think, like with her own business and entrepreneur and yeah, I love the products. Okay, so I'm gonna go back with the other shade just here. Make sure I've got it right to the end. Now, I do have a wee bit of a hoodie dye, you'll see it kind of falls down when I'm not lifting my eyebrows, it does fall down. So I'm going slightly higher here, just to make sure I don't lose any of that colour when my eyes fall. So there we go, and 
oh, let's just do that right under so that's nothing drastic you're not going to see massive massive results with this just now but that's fine it's just as a kind of transition type shade now what i'm going to do is i am going to grab another brush for a color to pop into my crease and what color do we go for let's go for something kind of warmer let's go for a wee bit of puree and also the summer yum here so this and this together here and i'm just going to go right in at my crease slightly above it because of the bit of the hood in my eyes starting on the outside circular motions focusing mainly on the main blah, 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 mainly on the outside but i do want to bring it right along because i'm thinking i might actually go for a wee bit of a halo eye if you have like lots of eye space above the lid and um, before your brow but your lids aren't particularly massive you're not blessed with big huge eyelids i'm really not blessed with big eyelids um halo eyes can actually be so so flattering and yeah, with a hooded eye as well. So I'm just going to run this colour right along. I focused a wee bit on the outside, but I am going to bring it right along, right to the inside. Just back and forward motions, nice and soft. You won't be having any tugging there at all. And then it will just build up nicely. So same thing with the puree and the summer yum shades. And on this side, I'm going to start off circular motions here. Just bears a lot of colour. And then I'm going to just bring it all right along to the inside of my eyeball. Now, I think I'll go back and be using that wee brush again. The It Cosmetics one. I actually can't believe how soft those fibres are. And they are just absolutely beautiful. What is this one? This is one of the Nanshi brushes. This is the Nanshi blending brush I'm using right now. But just use whatever brushes work for you. I don't necessarily always use the correct brushes that I should use, which is silly because it does make a difference when you use a proper brush. Now, I'm going to use the Summer Yum shade, so the one second from the end here that's a bit more of a reddish warm brown. I'm going to just put a bit of that under my eye with my Morphe G28, which is a flat top brush. Perfect for getting under those eyes. I will probably add some darker again underneath because I don't have eyelashes. So I do like to add some colour under here anyway. And I think it, it's not that it disguises the fact I'm not really fussed. But um, yeah, it just kind of evens out the eyes when you don't have any lashes there. Because um, I don't know if I can be bothered popping under lashes on today. So here we go. That's grand. Now what I'm going to do is go back to my It Cosmetics brush here. I'm not going to be heavily doing this. I'm just going to lightly swipe along and upwards. I don't want any of that kind of residue falling out underneath. And what I'm doing is that brown here is I'm trying to just bring that up and bring it in to connect the kind of upper and lower eyes together. Yeah, so we've got a wee bit of continuity and it's all quite seamless and that's my thinking. Now, lately I've actually been going with kind of really light lids to try and make my lids look a bit bigger, but I don't, just kind of semi-laziness as well. Now, let's grab this It Cosmetics brush again. What I'm going to do is actually get my wee colour switch tool thing here. Just rub off the excess powder. This is obviously not going to clean it and make it sterile or anything like that, but I'll be washing the brush anyway. It just takes the excess of any powders off that you've used. So, what I'm going to do now, I am going to find a darker shade. I think we're going to go for this Charm Dime Shoe up the top, which is quite a cool type of brown. Now I am using the smudge end of this brush here, the it Cosmetics one. And I'm popping this just on the outer third of my eyeball. And I'm kind of just packing that colour on there. So rather than getting loads where I'm going to get hundreds of fallout, I'm just going kind of lightly but just making sure I pack loads and loads of colour on that outer third here and you can even use the brush at this point to just go slightly above like because I've got a hoodie dye going slightly above my crease there and right to the outside and I'll just bring the dark slightly to the outside bottom third of my eye nothing more than that same again on this side obviously we'll do the same thing talk so much nonsense sometimes I've hardly slept like I was on a night shift not last night night before 
and hadn't really slept before work and did the night shift and then I was so so exhausted yesterday when I got home but I didn't want to sleep because I had like memo business and wig stuff to be dealing with and website stuff to work on um, and didn't sleep and it got to about 11 o'clock last night and on so I think I was just totally delirious so and then I woke up really early weird right okay so that's the outer part if you're not into the halo type thing or you've got really big lids and you think oh halo eyes make them look even bigger on my lid I'm not a fan what you can do is just pop maybe a bit of shimmer on the inside and then maybe like do it in kind of thirds in the middle go for a slightly lighter matte and the inside you could have matte or shimmer whatever whatever you want what you want um but what I'm going to do is use that charm that I'm sure cool brown and I'm actually going to go on the inside as well In the very inner third of my eyeball this is so quick because i'm talking i start taking forever and obviously this process you don't need to use this specific palette or these specific colors you go with whatever kind of suits yourself i just fancied using it because i was going through my makeup yesterday and i was like oh my goodness i've not used this for so long and i've only used it once or twice and i don't actually know why and it just felt like i was doing it a disservice <laughs> because especially because I was given it and I won it in the what they give away from Jamie Genevieve um yeah I just thought that's not very nice so she's given me this stuff and I've not even hardly used this so Jamie this will be nothing like your makeup nowhere near as good however you know I am still so appreciative of winning that giveaway thank you that was when she'd done ages ago and just said um, we were, you were to write why you started following her and the likes and she would pick winners read all the comments and pick and i had actually said and this is this is true i had actually seen her when she worked in glasgow um before in debenhams and one day something popped up on my Instagram, like this was like years ago, um, and I'm like, oh, that's that girl who's the makeup artist in Debenhams that works at Alamasca. And I was like, cool, I'll just follow her. And she didn't have obviously anywhere near the followers that she's got now at the time. It was always amazing. Um, and not long after that, it's three years ago, that would have been three and a half years ago, not long after that, I started to lose my hair. I was not good with the makeup or anything, didn't have a clue what to do and it really made a difference to my life and learned that makeup can be fun and yeah so that was lovely anyway right I talk a lot so what I'm going to do now I'm just trying to decide what shade I want to go for this one or this one I'm going to go for this shade luscious I've just tried to clean that off a wee bit um obviously ideally you should use a different brush so the shade luscious here I've used my color switch and this is going right in the center where I have left pretty much nothing at the moment and this is a beautiful kind of, it's not champagne, but it is a wee bit with a bit of a peachy tinge to it. It's not super warm and it's not cool. It's quite neutral. It's got a beautiful shimmer to it. And I've just put it on dry like so. Obviously, you can wet your brush if you want it to be even more kind of luminous and standing out. Now, a, a kind of halo spotlight eye, whatever you want to call it, this is such a beautiful thing that suits almost everybody and obviously you can switch it up you can use crazy colors you can use lighter colors what i'm doing here now is just popping a wee bit on the inner here just so it's a bit more cohesive of a look by ensuring that matches with this i don't want a million colors going down sometimes i do want a, mil a million colors and i quite like it sometimes however for right now no, I don't. okay so what we need to do now is grab a clean brush, which I am looking for. I'm going to actually use just a wee super cheap, I don't even know what this is, a non-branded wee super cheap brush I've never used. Don't even know where it came from. And <laughs> literally, all I'm going to do is just lightly go over that wee area where those two shades merge. And I'm going to bring the shimmer out rather than bringing the dark in. Because it's easy to bring the dark in and then you'll lose that shimmery shade. And then over the top here, I'm just going to give that a wee swoosh around. This is just a wee synthetic, fairly, it's not a very dense brush. It's, but it does this job. Um, same thing here. Just going to go over that shimmer right where it joins in with that brown. And I hope the quality of this video is actually alright, but I'm not sure. We will see. We will see. 
Julie, this video is for you, man. You've been asking me to do makeup videos again since we don't like reviews. Um, people have asked for this specific look as well. Um, and I've been warned not to mention them. <laughs> so I won't. There we go. So that would be that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my Tartus, Tarte, Tartus clay paint liner, which comes with this gorgeous little brush, which I love. And it comes in a packet like this, because this is my brand new one that I just got. Um, I had to order a new one because I actually bought this one over in Sephora when I was in America. And do you know, I was squeezing it one day and I'm like, whoa, my hands were covered and I don't know where it came from. The stuff wasn't quite at the top. That was actually broken and it comes out here. Now that I know that, it's fine. So I'm just going to squeeze the tiniest bit out. This is the blackest of the blackest of the black and it's amazing. It does not bother my eyes, doesn't irritate my eyes. I've got very sensitive eyes as well. And I put it into my waterline. Like so. And um, tight line. Tight line's just the top kind of waterline area. I'm not going to go for a big wing today. Oh, sorry, holding that in front of the camera. I tend to always do a big wing on my eyeliner. I am not going to do that today. I think what I will do is I'm going to go over my top kind of lash line area very finely with this clay paint liner. Because I don't have a lot of lid space. I don't want to have a big thick liner and then you don't really see the, the eyeshadow on the upper lid. So this is really literally kind of along the lash line. I'm keeping it very low. Now, my eyes are actually... My eyes are actually very wide. I've never had to trim a pair of eyelashes in my life. Sometimes I've done it if I want them just be more, f depending on what I want to do, I'll cut them into bits and stick them on. But I've never, like almost every set of lashes I've ever had, they fit me perfectly and sometimes they're not long enough. So my eyes are very, very wide, but they're not so tall. But I do have a stigmatism and I actually have rugby ball, ball shaped eyes apparently as well. Inside, there you go. <laughs> so what this does is this can give the illusion of my eyes being bigger. A lot of people will say that you shouldn't put black in your waterline if you don't have wider eyes. Um, at the bottom, you should put in a bright white type shade. Now, I love that on people. I love that look. But when I've done it, it doesn't work on me. I just feel like I look really odd. Um, other people have said they like it on me and they prefer it, but I just kind of go with how I feel. Be your own beautiful and all that, you know, you know, I'm always saying it, so you need to believe it. Right, lovely. That would be me for the eyeliner for just now. What I am going to do now again is take my Morphe G28 brush and I'm actually going to use my Illamasqua Obsidian Single Black um, eyeshadow here. And what I'm going to do, this is super pigmented, this Illamasqua one. quickly go right against the lower lash line nothing heavy I don't want it to be too much and the same on this side and it's mostly on the outer section of the eye here that I want that really dark and bring it along the lash line to give the illusion of a shadow as well maybe I do have lashes lovely just like that now what I'm going to do is grab a big fluffy clean brush, or not too big a fluffy clean brush. Yeah, let's go for this one. This is the Morphe E23 brush. I'm just literally going to make sure that's all kind of blended. And if I'm struggling with any blending, like if you look at a lot of dark there at the inside, if it's too much I would go for the shade down before it, which would be the Georgia shades and blend that into it again. Right, what I'm going to do now quickly is jump to brows. Now, just for super speedy quickness, I'm going to use the Soap and Glory Brow Archery Brow Tint and Precision Shaping Pencil. This is a double ender. So on one side, um, we have this, I've got the shade Dark Chocolate. We have this waxy, crayony pencil type thing for your brows. So I am going to very quickly just mark out the shape of brows I'm having for today. I 
I quite like to extend my brows and bring them down. I tend to use Anastasia Dip Brow a lot for this part, but this is just quicker doing it because I'm very aware of the fact that I take so long when I start talking that this video will be blowing the pants off everyone. Um, and I can't even, I don't even think I can hit pause on it. It's cool. So you're going to look at this as soon as this is done, this part, and you're going to be like, oh no, 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 Michelle, what have you done? But it's okay, there's more to come. Right, and I bring the bottom out further. There's a reason. I was going to say there's always a reason. There's not always a reason for everything I do. Because I can be a bit crazy. So, it's actually pouring in Scotland today. A few days ago I was like, yeah, we have sun, it's summer, woohoo! And then um, today it's absolutely pelting of rain again. And I was so cold last night, like, got my onesie on still. I had a big, huge blanket from Costco, which I love. Super soft. I had that over me and the big heavy tog winter duvet. It was so cold. Right, so. That's not the tidiest for brows, but that's okay because stage two is still to come. On the other side of this, what we have is this lovely little fine tip liner for your brows. But before I get to that, what I am going to do, which people will probably find funny, is use the, the wrong one that I bought. I bought this archery thing from Soap and Glory, which is actually great if you've got brows, but I don't. Now, I don't have brows, but it's got a spoolie in the end, and I'm actually, I know, you're going to laugh. I don't have brows, but I'm actually just using it to smudge up that shade at the bottom here. Because it seems to work for that. I mean, you could actually just use a normal brush, but... I'm kind of like, well, I've got this and I feel like I want to use it. Just go lightly. Do you want to take off all your foundation that's under it anyway? Just because I want a wee bit of shadow here, but I don't want it too intense at the inside. Now we're going to this fine tip end of the Soap and Glory. And I'm literally just going to start drawing wee lines on. Sometimes I actually find... when I've put on the Soap and Glory other ends with the pencil, sometimes I find this isn't quite enough to show over the top if I've gone a bit heavier with it. Like today, you can't really see greatly. You can see some fine, like kind of hair stroke things I've drawn. You see them at the front where I've gone lighter. If that happens and if I don't feel it's enough, what I do is get my Kat Von D tattoo liner or my Physician's Formula 2 in 1 Lash Boosting Serum Eyeliner and I will, they're black and I will draw in with that. But then again, I tend to usually be doing this over the top of the Anastasia Dip Brow purely because uh, I've got a few shades of the Dip Brow and I love it. I just love it. I use that for the base and then I do use my Kat Von D a lot to do these hair strokes. Okay, now, what now, what now? So that's kind of not bad. I'm going to put on lashes. Before I put on my lashes, what I'm going to do is finish off the rest of my face super duper quickly. So this should be fun. Um, okay, so let's find some highlighter. Today I think, I don't know, I should go for these. Or go for these. I've got, I have so much stuff, it's actually unbelievable. I should have decided this first off. I think we'll go for, I've not used this for ages, but Anastasia Beverly Hills. Glow Kit and this is the Sun Dipped Palette. Now I am going to use this little Real Techniques brush. I'm going to go for the shade Moonstone which is kind of champagne -y and yeah I like that. It's quite neutral. It's not too cool. I don't really suit really cool highlights and I tend to do a lot of gold but something a bit more neutral today might be beneficial just because I am going to do my reviews with different shades is my plan. Right, and on this part of my nose, up here, up at the top, the bridge of my nose, it's about halfway. And then, I wish I need this go ball in the end. Uh, I'm just gonna go in my cupid's bow. 
Now I can always add more highlight if I want. I like to kind of go up here a wee bit, nothing too much, but just a wee bit. And sometimes if you've used a lot of powder and stuff, you can think it looks powdery. There is a way to kind of sort that at the end, which is good. Now, next step, I am going to grab a brush. I'm going to do a wee bit of bronzer. So I've already, I kind of did the contour with that liquid stuff I had said. I think I'm going to actually use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. This is the deep bronzer. It is super dark. I'm actually going to use that though on this big crazy fan brush. And this is a bronze. It is definitely a bronze. It's not a contour. It's quite warm very dark <laughs> um, when I'm so pasty as well but I'm just putting it over the top of that so the contour is right here for the shadow effect then I'll get a bit of bronzer above it and then what I'll do is I will grab some blush and I will do that as well now I think I'm trying to decide what I should go for today Now I used that um, Makeup Revolution stuff, the cream, down the side of my nose already. I'm actually going to change brushes over. I'm going to use this Morphe Y11. I actually love this brush and I, oh sugar, I've just I've put it right down my mouth. I was going to stop here, but okay. This is a lovely brush and it's nice and soft. I quite like it actually. It's really, really good. Right, I'm just going to quickly... Right, that's fine. Now, what next? What next? Because I have the same brush, but well, the G37, the gunmetal, and I actually use this one for a highlight to just intensify it um, sometimes. Okay, now I'm going to go for a wee bit of blush. Oh, I'll use that highlighter. Blush for today, I think we will go for the old Faithful, um, the old Faithful, I can't, oh yeah, hmm, Milani. Um, so this is the Baked Blush Powder, Baked Powder Blush. I use this all the time, now remember it's called. This shade is Luminoso. I've got a couple of shades of this, but we'll go for this one today. Now I'm going to use my Real Techniques, um, whatever this brush is. So I'm starting here, I'm just dabbing backwards. So kind of if you're going to do big balls of your cheek sort of thing, that actually draws attention there rather than the contours meant to slim and this can actually puff up your cheeks a wee bit by doing this. So it depends what you're looking for, I'm just doing it because I quite like it. Now, this is the brush that I used my powder with earlier on, my e.l.f. powder, which I'm going to actually grab a wee bit, tiny bit again, and dab, dab. <laughs> I'm just popping a wee bit of this down the centre of my face just because these days I've actually gone from being really dry, dehydrated to trying to drink more water because I never drank water and um, trying to drink water and I've been taking cod liver oil capsules I've been using some squalene on my face marula oil and um snail filter cream <laughs> and actually see the difference it's made to my skin I actually get shiny in the middle of my face and I know some people would be like hey I'm actually celebrating because if you've got dry skin and it starts to hurt and you're used to being super dry you all know how exciting it is if you start to get a bit of a shine. Okay, so I need to pop on my lashes. I'm going to use my own Mimo brand lashes, which I don't have to hand. I have one. I have one and I don't know who the other one is. I took them out of their little case. I took them out of their case here. And um, these are Silk 3D eyelashes. And I popped one in front of me. The second one, it's gone away. It's run away from me forever. It's quite sad. Okay. Is that us? Let's do a wee bit more on the highlight. Let's just emphasise that a wee bit. And then I'll give a wee spritz. And that's kind of the finished face look. Um, yeah, that's that's my plan. So, more highlight. More highlight, more highlight. So, 
this is actually fairly glowy at the moment. And I don't want to look like it's a total stripe. And it does look like that just now, but I am about to use a big brush and go over my face anyway. So, highlight's not for everybody, and do you know, it depends what you like. Sometimes if you use one that's got some even really fine glitter in it, like this sort of thing, um, you can see in it, some people say it can really emphasize texture, and I, my pores are getting kind of bigger. Even when I've got dry skin, it's really weird. Um, I've not done the outside of my nose. I'm just going to grab a wee brush. Uh, let's use... I'm going to use this as a non-branded, fairly dense, but small brush, actually. And I'm going to go down the outside of my nose. I'm not using anything too cool. I'm just going to use a bit of the Light um, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And literally just very lightly go down here. And you shouldn't really be using a warm tone if you're creating that kind of shadow look. But I've used the kind of cool tone already, um, the, the dark brown concealer that I've got from Makeup Revolution. And sometimes if I then go with a, a cool powder over the top as well, it actually turns totally grey and muddy. So this is warmer, it's a cool bronzer. However, it seems to work for me and I like it, so I'm happy. Um, my dog chewed not even used it, I arrived and he ate the end of this brush. Okay, so the other end, I don't even know what it is. Heavenly Luxe Perfection, he ate a concealer brush. He's left it all over brush and it's quite small, so I'm gonna, well, I've got a big nose, so it fits in here, just to blend it out a wee bit so I don't have an actual stripe. And I've taken that right up to kind of move into the contour of my eye as well, just to try and make it a bit more seamless grand now what i need to do yes what i was going to what i was saying at the start as well um if you feel that you look quite powdery totally disorganized if you feel it looks really powdery with your highlight and it's like glittery and emphasizing pores and you're just not really happy i'm just grabbing a big huge fluffy brush of no brand and rub it over now this one i don't think is too bad for highlighting texture and stuff however sometimes it can be what i always do regardless and also it sets your makeup amazingly i use the skindinavia the makeup um, finishing spray the bridal one and i grab a wee beauty blender i spray i'm going to use my whatever this one is real techniques i spray it with a setting spray and i i just dab over and with that moisture, it also sets it amazingly. Obviously, it's a setting spray, an actual setting spray, not just a finishing spray. Um, and with the moisture, it just kind of makes it look like it's melted into your skin more. So rather than it looking like powder sitting on your skin, with the moisture, and it tends to kind of, not liquefy it, but it, it just gives a, a much nicer look. And you actually don't see the moisture, but you do see that shine and that does last all day. Now I'm not rubbing or anything, I'm literally just dabbing. I actually tend to go and dab all over my full face. And that'll be your makeup. Well, see if you do this, your makeup is totally set for the day. Actually down my nose is always a good place for me to do this as well because, especially if I've used highlight, if I've used highlight rather than just going for a light matte powder down my nose, I have a lot of pores in my nose. It doesn't look good. So I actually am doing this all over my face it's not really what they recommend. Scandinavia actually recommend it when you are putting this on that you spray twice in an X, once in an X and once in a T formation just to set your face. However, obviously when I am pressing this all over my full face of makeup, I'm be assured that my face is going to wait on for the day. Sorry, this video is taking way too long, guys. It's, it's no use at all. It's half an hour, bloody hell. I wouldn't watch this if I was you. Right, I'm going to pop more lipstick now. So I got some new ColourPop stuff and I'm going to use the Aquarius Satin. Um, no, yeah, yeah I am. Yeah I am. So, I'm going to a mirror here.
so I can just pop on my lashes and I'm good to go. Yay! So thanks guys for tuning in. This was a bit mental and actually there we go. Here's the finished look of the makeup for this morning. I am going to pop on lashes. I don't have them on at the moment, obviously, guys. Um, and I'm not running to get them. They're in my handbag over there. I actually thought I had a set here, but I've lost one. So, um, yeah. So, thanks for tuning in. And if you actually waited to the end, I'm very impressed because um, I wouldn't have waited till the end. <laughs> so, keep sparkling, being beautiful. Send you lots of love. Bye, guys. Bye. How do you stop? <laughs>